Most people have heard that alcohol and pregnancy don't mix. But what isn't always clear is the stage of development when alcohol can harm the baby, and how much is safe for a mother to drink before it does. Like half of all pregnancies, this may come as a surprise, but there is no safe time, type, or amount of alcohol to drink while pregnant or while trying to get pregnant. This is because alcohol can cause damage at every stage of pregnancy, even in the weeks before a positive pregnancy test. The start of pregnancy is measured from the first day of a woman's last period, but she isn't actually pregnant until fertilization, which happens sometime during week three of pregnancy. This is the beginning of week one of fetal development. Unlike a bird egg, which depends on a yolk until it hatches, the human egg actually begins receiving nutrition from its mother as early as four days after fertilization. Once the egg is implanted, its nutrition comes directly from the mother's blood. So when the mother's blood contains alcohol, the egg does too. Damage from alcohol exposure at this point usually affects most or all of the egg's cells and the pregnancy can fail, resulting in miscarriage, which is why it is best not to drink alcohol when you are trying to get pregnant. By week three of development, the embryo is only the size of an orange seed, but alcohol exposure can disrupt the signals that pass between developing cells, causing defects to the central nervous system and heart. By the end of the third week of development, the heart will begin to beat. This is also when many women find out they are pregnant. Even if a woman had alcohol during this time, her baby will be healthier if she stops drinking once she knows she's pregnant. Between weeks four and eight of development, an embryo is at its most vulnerable to major physical defects from alcohol exposure. During weeks four and five of development, in addition to the heart and central nervous system, Alcohol can damage the embryo's eyes, ears, arms and legs, head and face, kidneys, and other major organs. In weeks six through eight of development, the teeth, palate, and external genitals can also be physically damaged when the mother drinks alcohol. In the second trimester, the baby's kidneys begin to create urine, which gets released into the amniotic fluid and reabsorbed when the baby swallows. This means alcohol that passes from the mother gets recycled and stays in the baby's system longer. Because brain development continues throughout the entire pregnancy, alcohol exposure from even one drink during the second or third trimester can cause mental and behavioral fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. It can also increase the risk of preterm birth and other complications. If a mother has had alcohol up to the second or third trimester, it's not too late for her to stop drinking. Any reduction is going to be better for the baby. Once the baby is born, a pediatrician can help recognize signs of FASDs and find the early interventions and support the baby will need to thrive into adulthood. FASDs can impact anyone, no matter their socioeconomic status, race, or level of education. This could happen to any of us. The good news is, it doesn't have to. By choosing not to drink alcohol while pregnant, trying to conceive, or having unprotected sex, taking measures to prevent unplanned pregnancies, and supporting women in their choice not to drink, we can all help prevent FASDs. To learn more about FASD prevention and find helpful tips and resources, visit letstalkfasdak.org.